All right, this is sending a shame that they don't have any sidewalks on the street. So I have to navigate this maze of rocks and no sidewalk at all. All right, so I'm on my way back to the room, our new home, and the room is nice. Uh, I, I know I said this earlier this morning. I like it. I like it a lot. And my wife likes it. She actually loves it. And she was asking me, why we, why didn't we do this a long time ago? And I told her, well, I suggested it like a year ago. And, you know, he didn't like the idea. But she loves it. So, I'm headed back right now. Oh, man, it's just another day. It's a great day. Today was a great day. It really was. I saw the uh, the last part of the Windows 8 announcement, like the last few minutes of um, of Steve Bomber's uh, address. I didn't catch the whole thing, but um, I mean, isn't that true? Like the first part was Windows 8, and the second part was about Surface by itself. I caught the whole Surface uh, announcement, and that was real nice. Will it compete with iPad? I, uh, you know, I will buy a Surface over an iPad. Seriously. I will get the Surface over an iPad. But I don't think everybody else will. Um, there are a lot of people who are very excited. Like, I look at different forums, and, you know, they, it's like a, uh, there are some people that, like, against it, and there are some people who are totally for it. And then there are some people that are like, you know, I'm going to wait uh, a little bit to see how it turns out. And then there's a few people that are like, I'm going to wait for the Windows 8 Pro because they got a lot of applications that run on Windows 8 Pro. But then I found this one article uh, from a developer who says that we, that all developers need to go ahead and move their applications into the Windows 8 format instead of being stuck on that Windows 7 format. And I agree. If there will be no need to buy a Windows 8 Pro if all your applications were on uh, Windows RT, Windows RT. There will be no need for it. Uh, oh, excuse me. There will be no need for it. And imagine, like, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, Sony Vegas, um, and all the other softwares you can get, freeware, software, if they all develop just for Windows RT, that would be a perfect world, right? They need to get out that and just say, hey, we're going to create either two different applications or just create the same one on on the same DVD or download, and when you install it from the Microsoft Store, it will be the RT version. If you install it from the Sony Store, it will be the Windows 8 Pro, but you can run it either way, you know, if you have a Windows 8 Pro. So, hold on, sorry about that. I'm trying to keep the camera steady while I'm walking. So, yeah, all these developers out there, they need to go ahead and just move over to the RT mode. All your applications, every one of them. And it will be so much of a better world. Now, there are some applications that are probably not optimized for uh, Microsoft Surface, you know, uh, like the high-end programs. But if you're running a desktop, why should I ever have to leave the Metro I know it's not called Metro anymore, but why should I ever have to leave the Metro environment? I should never, ever have to leave that. I should be able to stay in it at all times. All right. Um, 
near home now, so we'll get inside and chill.